Hi, uh, I want to talk about getting the Padron in Spain, um, particularly at Torrebella, um, which is the town that we have to do ours at, um, even though we're in La Mata. It's uh, basically the document looks like this once it's done. Um, it's not a complicated process, and I've seen people charging anywhere from 50 to uh, 110 euros for doing this for you, and you really do not need them um, unless you like uh, somebody else to do it for you for whatever reason. Um, what you need to do is take your passports with you and your tenancy agreement or whatever document relates to your ownership of a property because it's the property um, that's important because that's where you're going to be um, putting down your residency because the residency because yeah, if you don't know what Padron is, Padron is basically electoral roll um, they're sort of saying you live at this address um, but it's very simple now you go in there with your passports you go in there with your tenancy agreement um, you have to get there early um, in 12 hours, it's about 7 o'clock um, it doesn't open until 9 but you've got to get there about 7ish because people start queuing there's people already there at 7 o'clock and there's only so many tickets allocated a day so okay you've got two hours of messing around waiting outside um, but once you're in you find it's quite efficient you'll be in and out probably about 15-20 minutes um, you just go there, hand over your passports, ask you a few questions, nothing complicated, they are sort of asking, um, we, we, you know, they'll go, where's your partner from, that sort of thing, you know, they just go through the basic, checking the documents you brought with you, You're not, they're not even asking you any, are you going to be staying here for six months or that, they're not interested, all they want to do is go, right, this passport's for this country, this one's this, blah blah blah, okay, and they'll just go through it, you know, can you confirm the address, yeah, da da da, straight through it, and you could even write it down, or have somebody Google Translate it, print it, and they just look at the form and fill it in straight from the form, but if you don't have your partner with you, um, which in my case don't, because our kids are with us, so, um, we didn't really want to take the kids at 7 o'clock in the morning to go and stand outside the building. Um, so they then give you this form. Now, what I want to point out here is they'll still give you your padron there and then. Um, this form is basically to say that my wife needs to sign the padron. And to do that, it, they just this is an authorization letter to say that um, I do it on her behalf, blah blah blah. And then she puts her signature on this, they then put it with my paperwork, and then that's it done and dusted. And then you get your pad on, which well, you pick this up when you're there. Uh, they'll give you about five to ten copies. We've got ten copies of this because they know um, you use it everywhere because this is an official document that says that you do occupy this building. Now, the not important thing is if you have a non-EU spouse, in two years' time, you need to change your padron because they will take your partner off it and probably yourself if they're going to cancel it because your status changes. Um, now, my wife's Filipino, so in two years' time, because of the agreement between Spain and the Philippines, my wife would actually become a Spanish citizen. Um, it's, I think other people it's about five years, I'm not sure, um, but in two years time my wife would actually be recognised as Spanish and um, get EU passports, all that sort of stuff. So it's just going through the motions, but the reason I'm putting these videos together is because you can do most of this stuff yourself and what I mean I don't mind people charging a hundred euros for doing stuff, but when people tell you it's quite difficult, whatever, and then you go there and you find out, well, hang on, this is nothing. Um, I mean, people speak in speak English as well in the building. It's not as if they're um, 
Spanish only because I've had to deal with Spanish only with the police before when my wallet was stolen. And that was a nightmare. But this, this is nothing in comparison. And like I said, if you've got your passports in your hand, one hand, got your tenancy agreement, just hand them over. They do the rest for you anyway. They just want you to confirm the address. Just want to confirm the um, the passport details are correct. They fill it all in for you. Maybe partners with you. Yeah, they'll just get you sign here, sign there. Job done. Um, thanks for watching. Um, one of the things I would say though, uh, if you get time, go to forum.alicantespain.net. Um, and join up on the forum and introduce yourself because I'm going to put a bit of time in showing you all this information. Uh, it'd be nice to get a bit of feedback and also some people start using the forum and sharing a bit of advice and information as well. Maybe I'll get something useful out of stuff you know. Alright, thanks for watching.